Hello, my name is Rana, I'm from Sudan. Uh, emotional awareness uh, to me uh, is being able to control what you feel and um, caring for others' feelings, maybe. That's it. If you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his language, that goes to his heart. This is a quote by Nelson Madiba Mandela on the relevance of language and it happens to be one of my all-time favorites. Now there are other equally compelling quotes about language and its relevance in culture. For example, one by Rita Mae Brown and she says that language is the roadmap of a culture. It tells you where its people come from and where they are going. There are other quotes that may almost downplay the value of language. There's one by Jane Wagner that says, I personally believe we developed language because of our deep inner need to complain. Now, while there might be some truth to that, um, that's not the point today. I'm reviewing again the relevance of language, especially in the context of working as a psychologist and as a person who takes care of the mental health needs of people. One of the biggest challenges as a mental health practitioner is to ensure that whatever we communicate to our client is well received and that none of the constructs or none of the elements that we try to communicate are lost in translation. In countries or in areas where English is the sole language of instruction and of communication, I should say, this shouldn't be a problem. However, in places where multiple languages exist, case in point, Ghana, the therapist or the professional is required to pay more attention and come up with constructive and creative ways of communicating to their client and ensuring that they understand. I gave this some thought. I spoke to a few professionals and um, lay people, if you will, measuring what kind of understanding that we as a community or as a country, what kind of knowledge that we have about constructs in mental health. Now, the goal is to find that if a person wanted to comfortably communicate their mental health needs or emotional health needs, would they be able to do that if they didn't speak English? And would it be possible, you know, would they be assured that the professional to whom they were communicating understood them? The conversation brought up possible challenges that are language related. And so it begins to put us in a space to start thinking of creative ways to adjust these and when giving mental health help. Because you know what? Everybody deserves help when they want help, regardless of whether or not they speak English. Some of the things we found out were thought provoking. You might think the same thing, but you have to stay and listen to find out. I hope that you do. My name is Baba Dadzi, and you're listening to Hearts and Minds Aloud. Good afternoon, lady. Good afternoon. Could you please tell me your name and where you're from? My name is Nanama Akosa from the Eastern Region, Chibi. So Nanama, you're from Ghana then? Yes. Okay. Nanama, so how much do you think mental health is talked about in Ghana? I think it's very minimal. It has a lot to do with um, intellect and stuff like that and then mostly... Yeah. People don't talk about yeah, it People don't talk about it, yeah. Okay, Nanama. So to test that theory a little bit, we are going to try to see if we can find um, equivalents for these words that we find in mental health. We want to see if we could find those words in our local language. And because you speak Chi, I ask you if you can find those same words in Chi. Okay? So Nanama, the first one for me would be happiness. How would you say happiness in Chi? Energy. Energy. How about empathy? Oh, yeah. Nanama has a smile. How about fear? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How would you talk about somebody who's content? I would say Obia Nuatono. Obia Nuatono. How about anxiety? <laughs> no, <what> is it <laughs> okay, if you were trying to express a person's experience, a person who was going through depression, how would you explain their experience? I would, I would say, not Najimu, like, oh, how would I say? <laughs> <laughs> not Najimu, like Najimu, like, kind of, but then the person, Nibakon, <laughs> none. We'll move on to the next way. So when a person who's been depressed, for example, commits suicide, what would you say? Okay, so maybe you could explain it in a number of words, right? Okay. okay. How about emotional dependency? First off, let me ask, does the word come, do you, once you hear it in English, do you have an understanding of the word, yeah, of the expression? Yeah, but then taking it back in Chi, it's kind of, like, yeah. I always, I'm, I'm used to like, always communicating that in English rather than in Chi. 100%. So now, if you took a few seconds to think about it, do you think you could even have an explanation for it, maybe? 
emotional dependency. Um, I would say that it has to do with somebody not being able to. How, what word would I use emotion for? But then in terms of em emotion, how would I explain emotion? <laughs> but then in terms of em em the person is not emotionally stable and then it has to be like, the person's emotion is like dependent on something. So when that part particular thing is in there, the person is unstable. Good, good. And would, the, would you be able to do this explanation in three, two? I'll try. I can okay. try. Okay. Me wanna say, say ni pa kono. Me ni jan na say na hoto ana say ni manu ni ni manu. It's me. Eh, I dream um straight straight no. Eni bibi wa ono ma mani yesa. But then sad sad ni ni hono ma ni pa kono to me. Eng eng yo ki wun sobe huna ni pa kono to me say this this there's something wrong with the person. That's excellent. That's a great try. And then the last one, mama. How do you say mental health in tree? In tree. I would like a mind to somebody's um, okra. Okra, which yes. is the soul. Which is the soul. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. That is what mind is to me personally. Mm -hmm. In general, if we say mental health, then what um, an account person would go straight to is nudging that the brain isn't working. Oh. Yes. Nama, you've been a great resource. Thank you so much for your time. It's been fantastic chatting with you. Thank you too. Thank you so much for doing this anti unit. You're welcome. One word that's really important to me that I try to find an equivalent for in trees empathy but I struggle I don't know if you can try to think of a word for empathy in tree empathy means I think uh, mm. having feelings or feeling what others are feeling so we say it in tree or what I think uh, Emma will be mm. Mm. or what mm. I think uh, Emma will be okay mm. And, and what would we say about the word Tima? Would we be able to use the two interchangeably? Yeah, the two can be used interchangeably. It depends on the group of people. So some will say, oh, or oh, Atinka, and our oh, Tima. Mm. Tima. Okay, cool. So I'm on track. I wasn't yeah. so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's another one. This is more common. So fear. It can mean a uh, hum, mm. an ancestral. Mm -hmm. So some people will say a hum, or a hum. Mm. Like she is afraid of this mm -hmm. or ostro, mm. stro. Mm. If you say ostro, it's like a verb. Right. But if you say stro, it's like a noun. Fear. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And then another one. One of the big words that we use when we talk about emotion often depression. Depression is waboto. Mm. You say uh, waboto. Mm. Mabutu, mm. uh -huh. that's how most people say it in tree. Yes. So, Auntie Yunus, somehow I feel like most people may not even know that this is the word for depression. Even though they speak tree, they may not know that this is the word for depression. What do you think? Yes, some people may not know, yes. and others too may know. Yes. And uh, you know, we have a spoken tree and written tree. Indeed. Yes, Wabutu is the written tree. Good. But Wabutu, uh, like depression, some may. Uh, Say that uh, I'm not happy, I'm sad. Me raho, me ninje. I can't eat. Me mm, mm, mm. But if you want one word that to describe all the symptoms for depression, okay. it's waboto. Okay. So it means that for some of these concepts, for our local languages, it might help to describe the symptoms or describe the things around it more than just finding one single word is that correct yes yes in order for some people to understand it they have to describe the signs and symptoms how the person is feeling for them to get one word to describe the condition like if you say depression in english it's clear it's understood by yeah. uh, most people but if you say wabutu in chi most people will not understand it yeah. so maybe you have to go further to explain the how the person is feeling mm. for you to get to know that the person is depressed or like the trees who say, I can't say wabutu. How about just out of curiosity how about suicide when someone commits suicide how do, would you say this in tree? Uh, suicide. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tricky Inter one. Eh? Interesting <laughs> issue. <laughs> but interesting in quotes. But yeah. suicide, you can say, I shouldn't walk on foot like Hank. Or they say, But in all, why didn't you say it's suicide? Yes. 
So it's the act of having taken the, his life that That's is described in, in different ways, yes. explaining the way in which it was yes. done. Yes. Okay. So also like depression, it's more describing it than just finding one finding. word for it. But the, 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 the depression is, what well, if you say Wabutu, if Actually. the person really understands tree, the person will know that it's depression. But as to whether the person will know the English name, that yes. Wabutu is depression, depression. that one too is that's another, another issue. Ah, yeah, mm. that's true. That's a very valid yes. one. Yes. The last one is a bit of a hard one, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let's try emotional dependency. Emotion per se means a... Uh, hey, it's difficult yes. to answer. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted someone to struggle with me. That's why I gave you this hard one. <laughs> emotions. Like, emotions like uh, a tinker or how you, like, how you feel mm. a tinker like it's difficult yes, that's true <laughs> but auntie you, you know you've been fantastic thank you you know what i'll do i'll leave you to chew on this one yes. and then in our next meeting mm. you probably let me know what okay, you came okay. up with yeah, but you've been fun yes but you've been fantastic thank you so much for your time i've learned a lot from you're coming to have learned a lot <laughs> Auntie Gifty, welcome. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. Some of the words that come to me are self-esteem, for example. But immediately, I can't think of a way to say self-esteem in tree. How would you explain self-esteem in tree? Self-esteem in tree, beye sena obijeni hutum efa se odimu anase ondimu. Okay, sena uju hutum. How about self-love? Self-love. It makes us away your penny, huh? Sana ya yata cano. I just say, or Donny Juan Casa, or Wabre Mano, huh? Exactly, or Wabre Mano, huh? Aha, and it, that's so close. So, a bay next question now, me grab the beside, which would have been self care. Please correct me if I'm right. I think self care is really close to Obi or Wabre Mano, huh? Yes, that's what be penny, huh? And on a ya and I yet to say, a hoofa. Any who purchase on J. Jan, who so a apple would din shed that any. But say the self care ni banner, yet so obia. A dear na, ni who is saying an honour or penal. I drink a tetchy apple would din come and only self care. Now, as you say, another thing, what word would we use for anxiety in tree? A ye a hm ah. A meaning as so, or be best sorry na I say, a yen is say, oh, O nim ye besi, why ye basa, chess, eh, O nim ne nim, but a meaning as so be a inty, a one I say, a meaning as so. And you see, I come back emotional stability. So because if you be emotionally stable and as when you say, won't you? The concept of emotional stability, no, saying I ye be explaining. In a mechanic, say, Obia or walk a hosheso, a war, a ni panky tahu dee, and I say, I want a tin camel, any, a nipa, and saw so. Obibe to me, I can't sell my a year goofu. A ya tinker, and so obeshen a hosoa, and fat a Mrs. Asoboni bea, Emma, and on a year friend say emotional stability. Thank you so much. Nina, where are you from? I come from Teshe. Go find tell your ten. Go find your joke. Nina, so it's excellent that you speak Gam. My first word for you would be fear. Would you find a, a, an equivalent word for fear in Gam? Yes, be shimo. Okay, be shimo. Okay, so I find that it's two words as opposed to like English, which is one word, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Vulnerability. <laughs> I can't really think of a word right now, even a sentence. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is that to say that it's not an everyday word then? Yes. Okay, so let's try another one. An easier one, a softer one. Okay. Happiness. Misha. That's nice. You say that with Misha on your face. The next one would be contentment. Oh yeah, Misha. Nothing on you, yo. Nothing on you, yo. So if you explain this to somebody, they would get the context. Okay. Nina, can we try self-love? Be usmo ohe. Usmo ohe. ohe. And um, self care, which is kind of related to self love. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. If somebody had self esteem, if you wanted to talk about somebody's self esteem, what would you say? Mokoni ebu ake bomokukeke. Ehe is some value. So, with my little girl that I know, would you be able to say mokoni bo ehe? Mokoni bo ehe self respect. 
self-respect. That's yeah. very interesting. Yeah, self-respect. So, yeah. So, yeah. so that, that sentence talks more about value, the value that a person places on themselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, I'm going to try a harder one, or which is more mental health focused. Mm-hmm. How about suicide? More mm-hmm. egg yeah. So, in a, a literal translation in English, that would be he's killed himself, himself. or she's killed herself. Yes. Okay. Uh, another hard one. Well, maybe not so hard. Empathy. In a momobo. In a momobo. Alo inuehi hamo. Inuehi hamo. Yeah. Nina, would you be able to tell us how to say emotional dependency in Ghana? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, in oh, English. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> what's that? <laughs> but in English, this is a term that you will understand, right? I Even do. if you hadn't heard it before, you mm. would under- I would do hear it understand. Now. Excellent. But when you are speaking in Ga, is this a concept that comes up? The concept no, of emotion? No, 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 okay. no. So do you think that it's because we don't have characters who are dependent emotionally or is this something that, you know, we don't we consider? Don't, we, don't, we don't consider. Okay. The very last thing is the umbrella under which all of these things are. How do you say How mental health yeah. in Ga? Okay, before I say it, yes. we have madness, we have been insane, we have you've been stupid, we have been an idiot and all that. But as far as these things are concerned, a gun person would just say, oh, yes, okay. Mm. Mm. Like, you're mad. Mm. 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 They don't have space for they just wrap it up. Mm. No, no, no. Where, where is it coming? Like, ah, you just black gun child. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Long story. Exactly. Right. So, in your opinion, Nina, why do you think, why do you think it is that we don't have, we don't consider some of these concepts in our culture? We are not, and when we talk about our languages, actually our culture doesn't mm-hmm, consider mm-hmm. it. Why we don't translate into mm-hmm, our language? Right? Mm-hmm. Why? Why do you think it is that we don't really consider it in our culture? Um, I think it's our generation and globalization. Mm. Perhaps these things have always been there, but mm. they don't give attention to them. Yeah. I don't think they really care much about it. I'm sure if someone should be going through depression in, let's say, 1800s in Ga. They wouldn't really classify it as depression. They would do whatever they would have to do to get it out. But right now, we have the internet. We are reading about mental health. Parents not trying to understand us emotionally and all that. It's like there's now awareness that it's actually a problem. So hopefully our language will evolve as we start to learn about these concepts. And hopefully it will help us to treat it differently. I just hope so. You know, you've been fantastic. Thank you so, so much for your time. Thank you too. Our local languages have failed to evolve. I mean... We are doing well, but because of technology, we have been forced to come up with words for certain things. But when it comes to emotional language, those things, there is no compulsion. There is no pressure on anybody to find words for them. The vocabulary is so limited that it is almost impossible to communicate, you know, about emotional stuff in our local language. Yeah. Exactly, and also that's such a valid point you made about our language not being evolved. Like you said, there's no pressure on anybody to sort of communicate. I was thinking while our language hasn't evolved, maybe it's also because you know these words and things, or could it be that these words and things that we necessarily pay attention to? So, for example, if we we're paying attention to it and you found that there was no word for it, then someone would be pushed to start the conversation about finding a word for it but because our minds are not really on emotional things and it's not a thing that people necessarily pay attention to to even start to develop a set of vocabulary for it. it is also related to the fact that the the nationally because it is not and we don't have local languages being national languages then nobody is forced to find out what words to represent certain concepts. You know, after all, when you want to talk about those things, you can easily use a, another language. You can use that, the English language. Yeah. So you, you avoid having to force yourself to find, you know, words or to come up with new words in the local language. But when you are forced use it as a national language you have to go to international conferences speak in that language then that um, onus will be on you to come up because you can't go and stand there and then be putting english words in there so i think that that is also part of the problem we haven't elevated our own local languages to that level where it will be compelled
you know, currently it is even better because of the radio stations. They are forced to find words for certain things. But I think that also the level of, would I say, education or the proficiency when it comes to language and the workings of language among those people may not be that high. You need people who have studied languages, who have a certain, have been, you know, taxed with a certain responsibility to develop the language. Mm -hmm. Things don't just happen just like that. You need to put some effort into it. If um, somebody has been taxed with the responsibility of coming up with words for things like vulnerable, emotional and all that mm. and the person will go to work and begin to try to find put words effort to put that. effort but mm. if you don't put effort into it how is it going to happen mm. it's not going to happen yeah so that's why this is actually a conversation that maybe we need to start maybe as people in or you know being the work that we do or as yeah. people who work in this area maybe this is a conversation we that can, we need to start we can collaborate with the institute of languages right and then find out what they can do for us mm. that we have this challenge okay. that we find out that our local languages are limited in this respect is there something they can do if they themselves admit that there are no you know comparable um, technologies for these concepts is there a way that they are willing to you know put some effort is there a way, is there a system by which you can develop words for these things? I'm excited about this also. This will actually be a project, like our next project that we start working on. And it will be really useful too. Yeah. It will be really yeah. useful too. Now that we're accepting psychology, like we have people understanding and accepting mm -hmm. psychology, we need to actually have a way of communicating with people. Because if they come in or you're trying to read them in terms that they don't understand, then what are you doing? Like you're not really helping them. Um, the more language is forced into academia, the more it develops. Mm. So if academic concepts get captured in local language, then the local language will grow. Mm. But until you take it into that realm mm. of academia, then the language remains just a means of everyday communication. Mm. Mm. But the way um, science is developing, the way um, research is coming along, new things are being found every time. Mm -hmm. And if you don't take the local language into that realm, then the language remains, you know, underdeveloped. Stagnant, yes. it, it remains stagnant. Yes. So I think that that is what is required. And if we don't make the decision to escalate or elevate our local languages to that realm, then we we'll always have to use other languages when we have to convey certain concepts, and that is the problem. Exactly, and like the example we're given about conferences, how some people are able to use <coughs> their own their local language at conferences and have it translated. Mm -hmm. We will kind of struggle to do that because yeah. we won't be able to communicate exactly what we want. Like mm -hmm. we won't have as many words to cover what we want, and you know things might be lost in translation. If we also make it a requirement that when people speak in English it should be translated into local language you know so like you come to a conference in Ghana there should be somebody who is translating everything into the tree so that or into other languages so that if there is somebody in the meeting who doesn't understand the English or the French or something the person will say it in a way that when we push language people to that limit. They will be compelled to do something about it. Otherwise, then we will remain where we are. That's why this brings something to mind. You know how we don't necessarily have a united first language as one country, but we know that English isn't necessarily our first language, but we've been educated in it and, you know, people have gotten comfortable. I was just wondering, that's, you know, learning in a language that's not officially your first language, does it affect your identity in any way? Um, yes and no, because we start doing that very early in life, mm. you know, so it's like we see it as normal, mm. we right. see it as normal, right. 
it is when you are not able to communicate in the language that it begins to affect your identity like two Ghanaians meet outside the country and then they cannot communicate mm. in any local language then it becomes a problem but as long as you can do everyday conversation in the local language you you feel you're okay you know but and then secondly when it comes to learning we all have come to accept that in school is english we use and nobody has any qualms about that so i don't think it affects us so much it is when you don't learn the language growing up Mm. and then you're an adult and then you cannot speak the language well that's when it begins to become a problem especially when you're outside the country or even in country and people find out that you cannot speak it 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 tells badly on you as a child you don't mind but Mm. as an adult it becomes an issue Mm. yeah that's true that puts it into perspective thank you so much dr sola you've heard from some of the people in the south the tree speakers the speakers from the capital of the country ghana the gas speakers We still have another group from the south, and then we'll keep exploring. My name is Baba Dadzi, and you've been listening to Hearts and Minds Aloud. If you haven't already, subscribe, rate, and like this podcast. We're on Instagram and Facebook as Hearts and Minds Aloud. Thank you for listening. Until next week.